Let, let's talk about Bond, the inevitable uh, 007 uh, and Goldfinger, uh, which came out in 1964, um, which people rate as the best Bond movie of all time, and certainly the one that seemed to crystallise so many of those important elements of Bond, sex, action, and a sense of humour, um, which is so important. Spielberg has said it was his favourite Bond film of all time. I'm wondering what, how much of the, the wry humour in Goldfinger came from you? Uh, well, I couldn't take James Bond seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it seemed to me that the pre-credit sequence was absolutely vital for, for my way of thinking because here's a piece of nonsense. Uh, <laughs> Here's a man who, you know, puts a seagull on top of his head to swim, and um, he jumps uh, in, and then he sets things, and then he strips off, and he's wearing a dinner jacket, and he's also got a carnation, um, and then at times, you know, the clock goes off, and uh, he goes to see his girlfriend, and um, she, and he sees a reflection in her eye uh, of a villain. That's such a great along. shot. Um, and he tosses a villain in the bath and uh, electrocutes him. And um, uh, now, if you take that seriously, <laughs> <laughs> you need your heads examined. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that if you enjoyed that and laughed and thought it was fun, now children, leave the brains under the seat and let's go for a big ride. Uh, and we'll have more of that. We'll have fun, we'll enjoy ourselves. I'm going to do, uh, play games with you. Uh, you th you're going to think you know what the answer is, uh, but I'll do something different. Uh, I'm going to put James Bond in the snake pit and you'll give, give you 30 seconds to figure out how he gets out. Uh, come on, come on, quick. Uh, and it's lovely to watch you fail. Uh, but I've given you 30 seconds, and it took the writer and I three months to figure out, so um, that's not cheating. <laughs> uh, and yes, keep the adventure going, keep uh, a bit of sophistication. Mm. Let's have a little bit of wit and style. Uh, but tongue firmly in cheek. Mm. But you, you also loved the gadgets, didn't you? I mean, boys with their toys is part of the, the huge well, attraction that, of Bond. That was Harry decades. Saltzman, was the boy with the toy. <laughs> <laughs> he adored and was getting them from all over the place. Uh, I mean, that, that he, we had somebody in the Pentagon uh, who was leaking secrets of whatever the latest American toys were. And he said, there's a laser beam. And Harry Saltzman sent for me and said, there's a laser beam. Yeah. And it, it's a, I said, what's the laser beam, Harry? And he said, well, it's, a, you can, it's a like a light, but you can go on the moon. You know, you, get, you can see it on the moon. And I thought, very interesting, but um, <laughs> with what object? <laughs> uh, and nobody knew what lasers mm. were or what they were for. I mean, all this medical thing didn't exist in those days. Uh, and I think it was Dick Maybaum, the one of the writers who had the thing, well, yeah, we could use it to cut gold because Mr. Goldfinger is knee deep in gold uh, and that'd be good to cut uh, his. Yeah. And whilst we're about it, I mean, why, uh, why don't we cut off uh, Bond's uh, private parts? You know? <laughs> in, in, instead of a circular saw, which was the standard thing, uh, let's use a laser beam. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> idea. And uh, uh, that's how, you know, Bond's were. Hey, the, the actual scene, I think you're going to show it, yeah. yes? Oh, well, that, that's, uh, that's real high tech. <laughs> uh, <coughs> the special effects people got a sheet of metal and they cut it in half and then they welded it together back again. Uh, and then they painted the whole lot. Uh, and James Bond is tied on the thing and I say action, and the two special effects man, one is underneath with a torch, uh, and the other one's got a blowtorch. And you can see the, the weld, so they're lying there, 
and I wait to, till nothing happens for a bit, and there's Sean sitting up having a look. Uh, <laughs> and eventually <laughs> the blowtorch works and the, uh, the well starts to melt. And I said, that's good, a bit quicker, quicker. And, and so Sean, lie down. So Sean lies <laughs> down. And, and he's trying to watch. And then it's marvelous because some smoke comes out. And I said, good, quicker, a little quicker. That's good, now slow down. And, and Sean is now beginning to <laughs> get, uh, and he's, uh, and that, and you talk about sweat, that was real sweat. <laughs> and, he's, and, and he's thinking, when is that son of a bitch going to say cut? Uh, because he knows that the two technicians underneath, one with a torch to show him where this thing is, and the other one with the blowtorch is going along, they don't know where Sean's crutch is. They just uh, <laughs> are going along. And uh, uh, there's a great sigh of relief when uh, I did say cut. Thank you all very much indeed for coming along, and please join with me in thanking Guy Hamilton. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>